All right, Shalom. This is the brother Ba'ar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And first, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I like to give salutations to the Akim preaching the gospel across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, Akim. Shalom. Um, I just wanted to make a quick lesson, man, you know, before I head off the camp. And, uh, you know, there was a few things on my mind, you know, pretty much this whole week. But, um, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, last night I saw the uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fight. And it, and it got me thinking that, you know, it just watching it, 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 it was an error to see two brothers fight like that but you know what you know all that that's not going to happen in the kingdom of heaven okay because we're a family and things like that are, aren't going to be seen thoughts like that aren't going to even cross our mind in the kingdom of heaven but you know um let me start off with this precept man this is revelations 21 and it says i and i saw and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea okay so those of us who claim to, who say that they believe in in the most high and his son would it should know that the lord is getting ready to create a new heaven and a new earth okay you know it doesn't mean literal but the most high is gonna renew the heaven okay and renew the earth because the scripture says that the earth shall abide forever man Okay, so the Most High is gonna make turn everything back to where to the way it was in the beginning, but the difference is gonna be that the dynamic of control. Okay, because the people who are going to have control of the earth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah are the true Israelites according to the Bible, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, those are not their true names, but those are the names that our uh, captives gave us, primarily Esau, and other bywords that the other nations has has uh, uh, labeled us, okay? But the dynamic is gonna change, man. And you're, not, you're no longer gonna see Jacob fighting each other like that anymore, okay? You're no longer gonna see things like that, okay? You're gonna see those things amongst the other nations, but not Jacob, okay? The, the earth is gonna be ruled by dark-skinned people, okay? Forever, an everlasting kingdom. Right in Revelations, in Revelations uh, uh, 21 and 1, it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and the first heaven and the first and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And when I when I read that precept last night, because it was on my mind, uh, the Lord said that there was going to be no more sea, which means that there's not there's not going to be a lot of people left on the earth after the most high finished judge, judging this place man after the insurrections after the wars after the pestilences after all forms of uh, 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 of wickedness is done and judgment is done on this earth but ultimately the missiles okay not just babylon is going to shoot missiles on the other side but the other side is going to shoot missiles over here which is according to prophecy Okay, so the Lord said that there was going to be no more sea, man. That means when, when the one third returns on the earth, man, after the nuclear missiles are shot off, it's 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 going to seem as if it's like a, it's going to literally be a new earth because the Lord said that He was not going to uh, 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 judge the earth with water anymore, but with fire. Okay, and that fire is nuclear fire, and this is and the last time only eight survived. But this time, it's going to be a small remnant of Jacob and pretty much a small remnant of the other nations uh, left over, okay? Because the pestilences and all the plagues that the Lord has ready to judge the earth is not going to just be here in Babylon. It's going to be across the four corners of the earth amongst all the nations. So, man, the scripture says there shall be no more sea. Yo, because the Lord often speaks of as the sea, as the people. Now, if the Lord says, if the scripture says that there shall be no more sea, yo, 
That means in the sight of the most high man, he's literally starting all over. Okay? But when it comes to uh, Jacob, he's going to start all over with, with that root. Okay? Which is Yahweh Shah. And the 144,000 and the one third. You know, and I thought about it. <laughs> well, I thought about it uh, recently this week. How can you imagine the majority of, of the people of our nations are gonna of our nation is gonna look like uh, look like the elect? You know, Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. You know, Lord willing, Lord willing you brothers are a part of that number. But could you imagine that <laughs> majority of your people looking like you, looking like uh, uh, looking like the elect? It's going to be crazy, man. You know, it's going to be crazy. So everything is going to be new. Okay, everything is going to be refreshed. You know, we're going to have plenty of space because the Lord said there was going to be no more sea. And and we're going to reproduce a lot of these. Uh, we're going to have a lot of these other nations as our captives. We're going to have, we're going to have, we're going to force them to reproduce, man. And they're going to serve us, man. And all the souls that were perished on this side are going to be reborn in slavery, man. But within uh, 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 our kingdom, an everlasting kingdom. Man, all right. And in 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 verse two it says, "I John saw the holy city of New Jerusalem coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride, okay, adorned for her husband." And I heard a great voice out of the heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them, and they, and, and there and and be their power." Salakia. And the Most High shall wipe away the, all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, no crying, okay? Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, okay? So, you know, the scripture says, man, though it tarry, wait for it. It will not tarry, okay? It shall speak and not lie, okay? So right now, we see the prophecies happening. You know, we see the plagues, we see, you know, we hear the wars and rumors of war. We see all these things are happening. But, you know, a lot of some of us, a lot of us, especially those of us who are in this truth, man, we're waiting, you know, especially in, in, in particular, those of us who are doing this work. You know, we're waiting for the ultimate judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. But, you know, we have to wait for these things. But as we're waiting, the scripture says, in your patience, possess you your souls, man. And this is what we're doing. You know, we're possessing our souls and, and we're waiting for that time. So we can't rush the Most High's hand. You know, we can't rush it. You know, in, the, in our patience, possess our souls. You know, examine yourself. You know, for the, for the trying times that are coming. Okay? But, you know, I sent the message out on the, on the, on the WhatsApp chat uh, earlier this week. And, you know, I, I mentioned that, you know, we learned a lot in this captivity. You know, the water Yahweh Bashem El for waking us up, you know, and, and bringing us his word, man, and, and blessing us with the comforter and blessing us with the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Because now that we're awake and we're in our in our patience, possessing our souls and examining ourselves, you know, we, we the more the longer you're in this truth, the longer you the more you see that the error was not with the most high. The error was with us. You know, we, we were the problem. You know, the law is perfect. The word is perfect. We're not perfect. Okay. The fault was with us. We have to get ourselves together, you know, but in our, in our patience, we're possessing our souls and we're realizing and we're walking because we can no longer look at the world as we did anymore. You know, every time we're walking around, going shopping or whatever we're doing, and we start seeing crosses, we start seeing uh, Caesar Bogiers, we start seeing all these idols. You know, when we were asleep, a lot of those things meant nothing to us, you know, and, and you know, they were lies. But now that we're awake, man, we see everything for what it is because the Lord has blessed us with his truth. You know, we see all the idolatry which we didn't see before. We see all the error, the wickedness of the people which we didn't see before. Because being being in this truth, you see it, it's magnified on such a whole nother level that people in the world can't understand and they can't see the their their disobedience and rebellious rebelliousness, you know, uh, 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 towards the most towards the most high. 
you know? But we're walking around and we're seeing all the evil and the wickedness, man. We see and we acknowledge that we live in Babylon, man. We truly live in Babylon. See, those in the world, they don't know that they're living truly in the time, in the end times. You know, they don't truly believe that they're living in what the scriptures uh, call Babylon because they don't know the way of the Most High. But if they knew the way of the Most High, then they would truly understand that this place is Babylon. Okay, all forms, all acts of wickedness is being done here and being accepted. Okay, and Esau is using our people, okay, to uh, 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 have these things uh, be acceptable to the earth. Okay, but the Most High is not going to have that. Okay, he's, he's going to allow Esau to go so far. Okay, but the Spirit of the Lord is on the earth, man. Okay, and this place is finished. All right, but um, man, you know, there's, let me, let me continue before I move on to my last precept. Okay, and it says... Uh, verse 5, uh, Revelations 21, verse 5, and it says, He and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is a that is a thirst of the fountain of of the water of life freely he that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his power and he shall be my son okay <laughs> man what the Lord is getting ready to do for us man is unbelievable and uh, unexplainable you know the Lord's gonna do a lot of new things with us man he's gonna he's gonna truly show his power man and he's going to also show his power through his people as well. You know, we're getting ready to experience something that, you know, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I can't explain it, you know, but everything is going to be new. You know, this, this world is going to be forgotten, man. You know, nobody's going to be caring about what happened on this side. Nobody's going to be caring about... You know Egypt. Nobody's gonna be caring about the th the things that they do was so called great on this side. Ain't nobody gonna care because the kingdom of heaven is gonna be so far out. It's gonna be so far beyond our, our current understanding, man. You know, but if you believe in the Lord, then you believe there's nothing out of His hand. There's nothing out of His reach. There's nothing too deep, okay? Because we don't know the deepness of the Most High, okay? Because He's infinite. You know, and if the most high and if our power is infinite and deep, how what imagine what he can do for us, what he can do to us. Imagine how deep our thoughts can get. Okay, imagine. All right. But let me uh go to Exodus 14, man. And you know, in Exodus 14 and 13 it says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, see the salvation of the Lord. Which he, sh which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians who ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Okay? And who's the modern day Egyptians? Okay? Oh, let me not forget 14. It says, the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. Come. You know, so the Lord doesn't, the Lord, the vengeance is the Lord. So we don't have to worry about fighting Esau with his carnal weapons. That's not that's not what we were commanded to do. Okay? We were commanded to wait on the Lord. Okay? In your patience possess your souls. Okay? But yeah, the modern Egyptians today is the so-called Edomites. Is the, I mean, not the so-called Edomites. Are the Edomites. Okay? The so-called white man. Okay? Those are the those are the Egyptians today. Okay? Because the, the scriptures call this, this place Babylon. Uh, but ultimately his whole kingdom but in particular babylon this place is uh called spiritually egypt spirit spiritually sodom and egypt okay and we know for sure that we're living in that time and we know for sure that this place is spiritually egypt and spiritually sodom okay so the, the people that we see today that are ruling they're no longer going to be seen okay they're going to be seen but that that that, that stands for we're no longer going to be captives of, captives of theirs, okay? And also, after the thousand years of slavery, 
they're no longer going to be seen on the earth. We're going to be like, where is he? You know what I mean? So, but we have to be patient because we have to be, we have to be patient because we don't understand what the Lord is getting ready to give us, you know, and we, we have to be ready for it. And we don't understand the meaning of a, of the downfall of a kingdom, you know, and that's what two thirds of our people don't, it, it don't come to their mind, you know, but they're going to well understand, you know, why the most high try to plead with us and and and, 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 and have us repent Salakia, Salakia. but yeah man so the most high didn't he didn't say all these things for us to take it lightly you know he wants us to take it serious because the time that we're getting ready to enter into is a very serious time man and a very dangerous time you know but we have a shepherd you know the brother from uh, Dallas man the brother uh Yashawamba made a, a beautiful uh, a, a lesson about the sheep, man. Very beautiful, you know. Well put together, man. And and we're we're following the Lord spiritually, and this is what two thirds of our people don't understand. You know, we are sheep and we are defenseless, but the Lord gave us a way. He made a way for us. Well, he's gonna deliver us in a much different fashion. Okay, and no one ever, er, no one's, no one ever saw this coming in this manner, in this form, because everybody's looking for some kind of carnal uh, thing. But this is how the Most High is going to catch everybody unawares, man. And this is why the Scripture says the strangeness of our salvation, because they're not, they're not going to understand. All right, but um, yeah, uh, man, uh. I just wanted to make this video short, man. You know, I could go on more, but for the sake of time, I just, I'll just i just cut it short, man. And I hope you brothers were edified, man. You know? And I hope you brothers, you know, stay faithful until the end, man. You know? Because I know it's going to be worth it. We know it's going to be worth it. Okay? Be faithful unto death. Okay? Because this life will be no more. You know, there's nothing that, that we that we're gonna wanna. There's nothing that's there's, no, there's nothing that's gonna be missed on this side. Our families are gonna come with us. You know, they're, whether they're uh, delivered during the time of salvation, or whether they're you know reborn in the kingdom, they're gonna always be with us. And that's the one understanding that the Lord has blessed us with. So, you know, death and and, and losing things and people, you know, it's not something that we should worry about. All right, but I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I like to give salutations to the I can preach in the gospel across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, Shalom.